Hi, this is Kelly. I have another mini to share with you. This one is a toilet paper tube mini. Uh, if you're not familiar with them, they are made out of these wonderful little things that are left over in your bathroom. And they, who would think that you could make such a cute little thing out of that? Anyways, I have a group of friends that had seen one of my one of my toilet paper tube minis and they wanted to learn how to make them so I had to throw together a real fast mini to to kind of show them what it was and what they what we could do and um, for this one I used just leftovers what I had at home or things that I could make I didn't want to have to go to the store and buy anything so I've made all of the flowers on in this mini with the exception of this little little teeny center right here that is a one of these little prima flowers that you get up I got these at Michael's and anyways the flower here on the front I'm used um, the EK, EK success extra large flower punch okay now this thing just makes me laugh when I see it if you've never seen this this punch before it is huge this is this is it let me zoom out it's so so big I can find my zoom Oops, wrong way. Here we go. To give you an idea of how big this is, I mean, look at it. It's it's huge. This is my medium one. So, yeah, this is the one I used for that flower. I mean, it's just, it makes me laugh every time I pull it out and use it because it is so big. Anyways, so that's the one. I used that to make this flower on here. And some, this is some Stampin' Up satin ribbon, and I just tied some, some pretty late, pretty ribbons, on the end. It's bound with, just book rings, and then I, it was so thick and it was just kind of flopping out all over the place that I decided to, to put a ribbon closure on it. So it just has this little ribbon tie that opens up and it just wraps around. And then for all of the tags, I try to keep my tab tags simple. They are all just very simple. I just ran them through my Cricut and embossed them with the, I think that's the Divine Swirls that I used. And I just kept them simple. I didn't put anything on them. I figured depend I don't whatever I use this for, or then we, I can add something to it later. Um, the paper collection that I used in this is from Making Memories. It's uh, springtime collection. I don't know if it's still available. I got it at their warehouse sell last uh, about a year ago. Anyways, it's really, really quite pretty paper. But anyways, and then here on my inside page, I on all of these inside pages, I did a journaling spot and I stamped them and I used for the, all of my journaling spots. I used. Um, Flourish Journals, and I can't remember what the brand is on that. Um, I'll have to check on that and see if I can figure that out. Anyways, I just, and I used the Friskers Threading Water Punch on all of my tags and on all of the journaling spots throughout it. And I just added a little ribbon here, and, oh, and I embossed all of the journal spots with silver embossing powder. And this little flower here, I UD'd it to give it a little, you know, to make it stiff and and shiny and added a little ribbon behind it. And then this one here, I have this little tag here is just held on with a little paper clip. And it has a little butterfly charm glued on it. And then I also embossed the edges in silver. And then this just flips open to another journaling spot. And then there's space here for a photo. And it's just held on like that. And then this one's another little journaling spot with some ribbon and a, a tag, or a tag, a charm. Now it's kind of funny, all of the buttons and the charms, everything that I used in here was silver, that this silver now, it was all originally gold. And so I used um, the Tim Holtz alcohol ink or a range or whatever it is. Anyways, I used the alcohol ink to make them all silver so that they would match. 
This one I just kept very simple. I placed for a photo, some pearls on a ribbon, and just my simple little tags. This one here is just the same, same thing, just a journaling spot. This was a button that I cut off the back and then I alcohol inked it to make it silver. This one is just some ribbon, some pretty ribbon and a button that I glued on. I wanted to keep them simple so that when I taught this class it wouldn't have wouldn't overwhelm them. And then just some, some more of the punch flowers. These are I used for these I used this one. This one's the medium flower punch. And then this one I used to back it. And then these little flowers here and here I used this punch which I got from Stampin' Up. Yeah, this is Stampin' Up one. For that one. And then this one I just carried this over and used the same the same flower punches and just kind of reversed the color and put a button in the middle of it. And then for my back page, I wanted to keep it simple. Just kind of simple with some ribbon. And then it's holding the, the back of it. Anyways, this is what I came up with. I hope the ladies like it. Um, I had fun making it. The nice thing about these little minis is you can use scraps and they go together really fast. I mean, the actual book I think I put together in about a half an hour. And then I spent more time doing all the embellishments. But if you haven't tried these, try them. They're lots of fun. They go together fast. They use up scraps. Anyways, I hope you enjoy it. Thank you.